This tutorial gives you a rough idea about the working of a search engine and lays down the foundation for understanding some important aspects of successful web content. Let's say you have a three-tire website that has the home page at the top, some tire two pages and some more tire three pages. This is your site structure. More on this is covered in a module two tutorial. Okay, when the spider comes for crawling the pages in your website, it usually starts from the home page. It then follows the links in the home page to go to the subsequent pages in tire two and tire three. While crawling, the spider records certain parameters in each page. It draws up a list of words and notes where they occur. In the next stage, the search engine builds an index of the page based on its own system of weightage for each parameter. It can be assumed that this analysis of each page considers a host of other factors like the link patterns, duplication of contents, age of the website, how fast the page loads, site reputation, and so on. It can also be said that this analysis of a web page is dynamic, and so it changes as the logic applied for the analysis changes. But this is a different story. Coming back to the topic, once the index building is over, the search engine encodes the data mainly to save server space and also for secrecy. Finally, the data is stored in a place that is accessed and retrieved by the search engine to show up in the search results in response to a search query by the user. Coming back to the schematic, take a close look and you will understand that the place for concern to you as the website owner is when the search engine builds the list of words from your web page. This is where you can influence the search engine by giving clear signals as to which words in the page are more important. How can you do that? You can do that mainly in three steps. One, by placing the important words strategically in the page that convinces the search engine of their usefulness. Two, by linking those words to other pages. And three, by getting links for those words from other pages. In this course, we will discuss the first step in details and also look at how you can improve the quality of the web content with an eye on search engines. Before we go further, it is of paramount importance that you know what your web content will be. This may seem easy to many of you, but in reality, many websites fail because they never pay enough attention to it.